Hey guys, Legal Lockpicker here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the uh, the Kingman 63 millimeter uh, cross well cross cross key lock or cross lock. Um, we're going to take a look at that, and uh, I'm going to tell you that I'm very disappointed uh, with these right here, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, if this is your first time on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So. Um, we can keep these awesome videos coming out with great content. Uh, we still have a multi-pick and lockpick world 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on. Uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment on the bottom of this video and let me know if you've ever been duped before by a padlock or you have a lock that is just so, it's just atrociously bad. It, they lied and it's just garbage and I don't like to say that a lot but when I'm when I feel like I'm being conned um, that's how I respond and then uh, once I hit the 1,000 subscribers I am going to pick a winner so one of the comments that has the most likes on it and then the other one's gonna be picked at random and those two are gonna get some awesome prizes and they grow daily okay so the reason why this lock is just particularly um, annoying. Annoying in that it's just there's so much bad about this. It just makes me sick to my stomach. Um, so I got these. Um, two of them I got from eBay from two different sellers. One was uh, six dollars and uh, I don't know forty cents. The other one was uh, almost nine dollars. And then this other one here. I got from a different website so the idea was to get three different locks um, and see which kind of quality control measures they put in place to make sure that the locks come out uh, with different keys and things like that so so the first thing we're going to take a look at here is you can see that I've got the one in the middle open because um, this was going to be in a completely different video and obviously I was going to give them away and that's why I left those in the package but I took the pin out of here and you'll see why in just a minute um, this is how the core came less a little bit of scratching here and you can see that these are the keys um, so in my other cross locks I have some have three some have five and that's just uh, that's normal that's just how they come if uh, pins on each side so this is another uh, cross lock here it's got the um, I don't know how to pronounce that Yahan um, lock same thing cross looks a little different here um, because it has the red dot for one and although the key for this one here uh, it fits in here perfectly they have cuts on each side and then a cut here down the middle, but there's nothing on the bottom here. You can see that there's nothing on the bottom. Uh, whereas this one here has a uh, different key bidding on each side. So there's four sides of this. Um, so we stick it in, we turn to the right, it works. Okay, so we, we know that it works. Uh, let's pick it real quick. Uh, this is my bottom of the keyway tension wrench I'm gonna use here. And I think what I'm just going to do is stick it in and turn it. So how could that be, right? So I'm going to stick my tension wrench in. I'm going to push it down just a little bit here so I can hit the one pin in there and turn it. Uh, you heard me correctly. The one pin inside. Um, if you look closely in here, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to show it here. Let's see if I can. Hmm. It's not really up. Oh, yeah, there you can see. There are no pins anywhere except on that one side. None. Zero. I know it's difficult to see, but on here, you can see they have three pins. But there's only one pin that actually works. One. So if you have, um, if you take your pick in here and you check here, check here, check here, nothing. 
and then when you go in here they do have three in here but only one of them moves and that's why I'm able to stick the tension wrench inside excuse me take the tension wrench push down and turn it wide open I'm only hitting one pin inside right and another thing do you see how they have this uh, locking pole here where they're supposed to be the locking poles um, after you take it open and you see it's got the cut for it but there's nothing in there there is no locking pole on the side it's one lock on this side it's it's it, even on the website it said there are two poles in here for double extra security um, there's 12 pins inside and um, they just lied it's just not true it's false it is not in the area of truth. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's open up uh, the other one here and let's just see um, where it's at because I suspect, I suspect that um, it's going to be the same bidding on it. Um, and I also suspect that the keys are going to be the same. I went to the website that's advertised on these packages and I saw that it's okay so they sell these. These are for like dollar stores, bodegas and stuff like that but still that doesn't give them the right to lie and say that there's all these security pins inside and all this other stuff. It's just you know it's not true and it's it's just frustrating sometimes. Um, so this is brand new out of the package. You just saw that, right? So that's what the bottom looks like. Remember, they said it's, um, what did they say? Besides being brand new. Again, let's, you know what? I'm going to hold up my other key. And as I suspected, it's the same cut. Um, so we'll stick this in here. So it works. I'm going to push it back in there. I'm just going to see if it allows me to do the same thing. Okay, so for whatever reason, this one does not allow me to do the same thing. But there's, I can still feel only one pin. One pin that's giving me any... Uh, one pin that's giving me any feedback. Uh, okay, so it's a little stuck, no problem. This is unbelievable. All right, so this one's giving me a little bit of a problem here. I don't know if it's because it's stuck, because it feels like it's stuck. I guess it would help if I had it on the right side. Okay, so it is the same one pin in the center. It's just a little greased up. Not greased up, excuse me. I guess these have been sitting in the warehouse a while. Okay, so we have the exact same thing in this as well. Uh, I was going to, like I said, I was going to add these to the uh, giveaway, but I'm not going to, in good conscience, put this on anything that's worth giving away. And now that I'm looking at this one here, uh, I can see that there are scratch, scratches and cuts all along it. And, of course, we have the same bidding on this as well, so make sure you stay away from this rubbish. Um, and just, you know, try to keep an open mind about this when you're buying things. And, you know, again, these locks and stuff like this, they're really only keeping honest people away from things, not the thieves themselves. Um, if you like this video, guys, and you want to see more of my upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comment section below what you think about these types of locks and any other locks that you've been lied to. I honestly would like to know what other products are out there that just lie about every feature they have on their locks. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.